ผมตีอย่างนี้แปลว่าเธอผมพูดจึงผมเธอผมตีมาสวัสดีครับ Good morning everyone Now you are watching live video on Thai PBS World Fan Page with me กิติพัฒน์เชิญสุขจิต Now I am here bringing you on the rooftop on the second skyscraper of Bangkok Yes now I am on the rooftop of Bayok 2 Tower Here behind me as you can see the weather is very uh, the sky is forecast the sky is forecast so as you can see it's not a smog or the mist but actually it's the dust is the air pollution with covering Bangkok right now all around Bangkok the name of this pollution we call that uh, particulate matter is shortened as PM and this type of particulate matter or PM is 2.5 2.5 is the size of the pollution of the particulate matter is 2.5 micron. I want to compare, uh, I want to make a comparison for you to get it, to easy understand about how, how big of micron. So one micron is equal to 1,000 millimeters. Yes, it's very, very small. So our hair has a diameter at only 10 micron, but the pollution, the uh, particulate matter has the diameter just only 2.5 micron is very very small so it can c come inside your body by breathing by mouth by eyes yes, it is very 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 hazardous for yourself so I'm bringing you here to see the overview of the mark not the mark of the particulate matter how bad is it now in Bangkok the standardized, the standard of the pollution here, actually, it's just only the standard is not more than 50 microgram per cubic meters. But right now, it's over 50 milligram per cubic meters for a lot in Bangkok, and you have to have a self awareness that this kind of pollution is very unhealthy for yourself. It can cause many disease, like heart disease, the breathing system disease, or very, very bad disease that can send someone to the death. Yes. So, World Health Organization has been uh, has been standardized the pollution in six level. We call this. AQI or air quality index. Yes, we have a six level. For the first level, is zero to fifty. This level is very very safe. It's very good. It's very good weather. Very good sky. Very good air. And the second level of the pollution of the AQI is fifty one to hundred. This is moderate, but it's still safe. Yes, it's still safe for you to come run, come out from your home and running uh, outdoor and doing some outdoor activities. On the third level is 101 to 150. This is called unhealthy for sensitive group. Yes, this is very unhealthy for a sensitive group. If someone has some like self symptom about breathing system or any disease that you have it so this is very very unhealthy for the sensitive people and the next level the fourth level 151 to 
200. This we can call unhealthy. This can cause the bad disease or unhealthy to every group of people. Even you are not the sensitive people, but this can cause something bad to you. And the next level is 201 to 300. This has been called as very unhealthy. Yeah, it's very bad. It's quite a lot than the last level. And the last level is 301 to 500. This World Health Organization has identified this level as hazardous. It's more than unhealthy, but it's, well, it's a world problem. It's very, very unhealthy. It's, can cause a lot of disease and can cause someone to the death. Actually, Bangkok has air pollution like this every year and for more, for more than one year, for many years. But this year, you can see the sky is overcast. This sky is overcast come from many factors. One is from the little amount of raining. It's not much raining. And the second is the it's not much wind coming to the town. So no raining, no wind, that can it close the air and that make the sky for oh, sky overcast. And when the sky overcast, the air is not ventilating. The air still cover Bangkok here and that air is a pollution air, has a pollution dust. So, Greenpeace organization has been revealed that the main factors of the polyclinic matters is from the industry, the smoke from the industry, the pollution from the industry, from the uh, burning the rubbish, burning the trash outdoor, and the third is the transportation, the pollution from the car, from the bus, from every transportation way. So, how to prevent ourselves from this kind of dust, from this kind of pollution, from the particulate matter? Yes, many people might know that the mask type N95 will help you. The mask uh, type N95 can prevent the dust about 80% if you wear it all the time. But this time, as I go to buy the N95 mask, many, many places, many, many supermarkets, it all sold out. It's hard to find it. Yes, how to find it? How to, uh, how to solve this problem by not using the N95 mask? Yes. I have some technique, I have some tips for you to use something that can uh, use instead of the N95 mask. Yes, Professor Dr. Usini, the former lecturer from biochemical program of the medicines faculty of the Chiang Mai University. In 2008, she has done the research with the professor from North Carolina University on the mask. Yes, N95 can prevent you 80% from the particulate matters, 2.5. But the normal mask like this, F1, yes, normal mask like this, can prevent you from the particulate matter to 0.5, just only 20%. So it's not, it's not enough for you to to make yourself safe from this kind of particulate matter. So how to use this thing instead of N95? Yes, you can put the tissue paper, two pieces of tissue paper, in the mask and then cover your mouth. 
like this. Inside here has two pieces of paper, and I cover it by this mask. So, Professor Dr. Usani told that doing this can prevent yourself from the pollution for 70 percent is the nearest thing to the N95 mask. So I will I will talking right now with the mask on me. So I have to prevent myself also because on here the weather is very very bad. The air is very very bad. A lot of pollution. So many people may think that is it possible if you only stay in the closed room, close your door, close your windows, and only stay just in the room to prevent, to prevent yourself from this kind of pollution. Professor Dr. Usani said that it is totally not help anything better. Why? Why is not helping? Because the size of this pollution, the size of the particulate matter is just only 2.5 micron. But when you close the door, it may it may have some hole on on the door and beneath the door. Some hole and also the window also. So the dust, the particulate matter can also come through that hole and stay and uh, yeah, and it will be in your room for a long, long time, and no ventilating, and the air is not ventilating. So, what is the best way? The best way is opening the door, and opening the window, and opening fan, if you have an electric fan. Yes, that can make the air ventilating, and you will be better with that kind, with, with, with that tips, with that method okay so closing the door and window is not help i told you right now i recommend you to make the air ventilating is the best way for you so it has the way the right way to put on the mask i have to recommend you your hand must be clean you have to wash your hand first. Make your hand clean from virus, clean from bacteria, clean from any dirt. And then you can touch the mask. And then you can grab the mask on your face. Don't let the mask touch any virus or bacteria or any dirt. So your hand must be cleaned. After that, put it on and wear it here. Cover your shin. Not wearing like this. It's not cover your shin. You can see, it has some hole for the pollution to come in. So cover your shin is the best way. And also, on on the on here in the nose, you have to adapt it to suit your nose. And the hole is not enough for. It actually is enough, but it can prevent some. The dust experience some the particulate matter coming to your mouth, come through your mask. Yep. <clears throat> okay, and this is some way to use your mask in the right way. Okay, I have some I have seen some people wearing masks like this. Okay, <laughs> it's very totally wrong way because it's not prevent you from anything your nose still uncovered. So you have to still cover your nose. Your nose is the most important because you have breathing, you have inhales, everything into your body. So close it, please. And this is the right way to wearing the mask and how to prevent yourself from the pollution. And from the news that some school has been closed for students because the student can cannot come outside to do activities outdoor with their friends and some of them has uh, is not very happy some of them are very sad and 
not too happy to study in the school, not eat much, unhealthy. Yeah, then the director of some school has been closed the school for like two days or a week. And there are many, many resolutions from the government, from General Prayut Chan Osha, the Prime Minister of Thailand. Yes, General Prayut has been aroused and tried to provide the resolution and to make everyone have a self awareness about this pollution, how important, how bad, how unhealthy of this pollution. So, uh, the last thing I want to show you is the the air quality index of here right now. Right now is 9.20 in the morning. I'm here on the second skyscraper of Bangkok on the rooftop of Bayok 2 Tower. Okay, there's no internet signal and it's still reloading, refreshing. Okay, finish. Okay, at 9 and 20, the AQI around the Bayok Tower in the Bangkok is 161, as you can see on my mobile phone. It's quite high, it's on the red zone. This zone is very unhealthy for everyone, not just only the sensitive people, but the people who, who think they have a very strong health, who have very healthy, who has the, who think that it's not, it can't cost you anything. You may be wrong. You not may be wrong. You are wrong. Yes, because this AQI is quite high. It's in the level of 150 to 200. This one is unhealthy. Not only for the sensitive people. So many places in the world are also have this problem, not just only in Bangkok. So this problem is the world problem. Everyone must help each other. Is ever it? This is everyone problem. So this is everyone responsibility to help this thing better. Not just only one organization or the government. Okay, and right now today I am Kiriba Chiang Sukjit will say goodbye to you just only here and we'll bring you to see the overview of the air right now and the next live video where will I go what what news will I show you and tell you stay tuned on the fan page Thai PBS World on Facebook on Twitter at Thai PBS World and website worldwideweb.thaipbsworld.com because Thai PBS World we will bring Thailand to the world. Today I have to say goodbye to you right now. Sadiqab.